Here we have two wonderful integrals, both involving natural log of some sort. The first one, part a, is the integral of dx over the quantity x natural log x times natural log of natural log of x. Well, it's probably no surprise that this is going to be a u substitution, but can you find a u that works for this? Pause the video, see if you can find something. We want u and du to essentially take up the whole integral. So it's something like this, right? So the whole integral can be written as some function of u, some integrable function, so we can actually take the integral of u and the u prime. And you want that to kind of gobble up everything in there. Um, that's a very rough way of talking about u substitution, but that's essentially what it is. So you may have tried letting u be natural log x, but then du is simply 1 over x dx, and we have a whole lot still going on in here that isn't accounted for. So that's not it. What if we instead let u be natural log of natural log of x? Then when we take du dx, we get, okay, 1 over natural log x, this is the chain rule applied to natural log of natural log of x, times the derivative of the inside, 1 over x. Thus, we can write du as dx over x natural log x. And look, right there, there's our entire du. Whoops. Right in our integral there. So you can just substitute straight in, or you can solve this for dx, then dx is um, x natural log x times du, and then sub this all in up here for dx. So what does this give us, finally? We have the integral of, that would bring us to 1 over u du. Well, the integral of 1 over u is nat natural log absolute value of u plus c. But then remember that our u is actually natural log of natural log of x. So we have natural log of the absolute value of natural log of natural log of x. All right, all plus c. And that is indeed a wonderful integral. Let's try part b. Here we have the integral from 1 to 2 of the quantity 1 plus natural log x all times x to the x dx. Again, this is going to require u substitution. Pause the video, see if you can come up with a u that works for this integral. OK, this one's a little trickier. Maybe you looked at this one and said, I'll let u be x to the x. And then we need the derivative of that. And to take the derivative of this, we need logarithmic differentiation. Or you can use the stacking method. Both of these work fine. I personally prefer logarithmic differentiation, so I'm going to go that route. So let's see. We write this, if you recall, for logarithmic differentiation, we write this y equals x to the x. And then we take natural log of both sides to get that x down from the exponent. This gives natural log y equals x natural log x, and then we take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we'll say d by dx of both sides. The left side I'll write as 1 over y times y prime, right, because y is some function of x, so we need to include the y prime in there. That's essentially the chain rule, or implicit differentiation chain rule, same idea. On the right-hand side, we now have the product rule, so we'll do that. a prime b plus b prime a is the product rule, so a prime b is 1 natural log x plus b prime a. Well, derivative of natural log x is 1 over x times a, which is x, so this boils down to natural log x plus 1. Then to get the full derivative, we have y prime is then, we multiply up by y, but y is actually x to the x. So we have x to the x times natural log x plus 1. But if you notice, that's entirely what we have inside our integral here is this y prime. So there's a few ways of looking at what we have arrived at here. We essentially have y prime, which is du dx, because we let y be u. So this is really du dx equals x the x times natural log x plus 1. 
So we could write this as dx then must be du over x to the x natural log x plus 1. Substituting this in for dx takes care of everything in the integral, which is very strange. So what we're left with is the integral of du. And that's it. We need to do the limits of integration though, so let's do that. So we let u be x to the x, so let's compute u, we'll treat this like a function. u of 1 is 1 to the 1, which is 1. And then I'll go over here, u of 2 is 2 to the 2, which is 4. So we now have the integral of 1 to 4 of simply du. Well, the integral of du is u, and there you have it, u, <laughs> evaluated from 1 to 4. Well, that's 4 minus 1, which is 3. This crazy looking integral evaluates to simply 3 with a very elegant u substitution. So there you have it, two wonderful integrals. This is u substitution at its finest.